But one of his longtime colleagues in the Senate, his friend and co-chairman for his last campaign, former Senator John Kyle. Senator Kyle joining us by the phone this morning. Uh, thank you for joining us, Senator. Well, good morning. It's uh, it's good to be with you, even on this sad occasion, uh, to remember my friend and colleague John McCain. Well, I, I just wanted to to ask you. We see so many tributes pouring in, even the folks just lining I-17 last night with those American flags. Yeah. Such an impressive sight. I, what are your thoughts on just this outpouring of of support? Well, it really is amazing. One of the uh, TV uh, station people told me that they had received a bunch of phone calls to the TV station expressing condolences. Um, people just want to reach out and uh, to in some way recognize this this great man and uh, to, to do it in their own uh, individual ways. I, I, I think it's remarkable and it's it's wonderful that they would do that. I think one of the nice things that has been coming out about this is so much of people across the aisles who maybe he had fights with, you know, in politics, but they still had that respect for him to come out and know, hey, no matter what, if we disagree, this man was a hero. His service will always be remembered. I mean, how do you remember him? You obviously had a bit of a closer relationship. Uh, was he funny behind the scenes? Was he a bit of a spitfire we hear? Well, uh I think one of the reasons that people, uh, that, that Democrats uh, admired John, and uh, you hear them uh, adding their voice uh, in expressing their admiration and, and condolences now, uh, is because he fought for everyone's right uh, to be fairly treated in the U.S. Senate, and it didn't matter whether you were Democrat or Republican. And I can specifically remember times when he urged the Republican leadership to give uh, a Democrat senator a vote on an amendment, uh, that kind of thing. So he believed in that kind of fair treatment, and uh, he insisted on it. Did the senator like all of the attention? Uh, we were talking earlier just about how I, I saw him out for coffee at a Starbucks here in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. No entourage, no bodyguards. Uh, did he just kind of like to just be a regular person? Because it, it kind of seems that way to us. Yeah. 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 No, he, he, he uh, granted, he was in the spotlight a lot. But all of us who have served like our, our kind of private time, too. And yet, uh, you know, walking through an airport with him, for example, was quite an experience. I did it many, many times, and he was stopped constantly by people who wanted to uh, have their picture taken with him or, or just have a word with him. And he never failed to uh, be courteous. He, he would stop. He'd let his picture be taken. And especially if it, if it were a veteran, um, he had a great time visiting with them and thanking them for their uh, continuing service. So um, he uh, he liked his private time, but on the other hand, he, he wasn't going to uh, turn away from people who wanted to visit with him. Well, uh, Senator John Kai, we really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us here. I think it's very clear uh, that politics, but also the country and maybe even the world is going to be uh, just a little bit worse off without him. I feel he really was a champion of people, their rights, and of course, you knowing him uh, very well, you know that that was near and dear to his heart. Yes. And we appreciate all of the work that he did. And we appreciate you for being with us this morning. Thank you very much. It was a very positive influence. Thank you, Senator.